Ambulance services to patient breathing. Just to update, uh, this is an 18-year-old male having a fit. I need an ambulance because my head's really hurting me. Ah, oh, OK. Every day, West Midlands Ambulance Service answers around 3,999 calls. So she had any crushing or severe aching pain. The number of calls has been increasing year on year, putting enormous pressure on the emergency care system. From when I first started, the activity in a shift is, is a hugely more than we used to do. There used to be times where we were very quiet, but, but now we, we sort of seem to be getting busier month by month. It is getting a lot busier. The demand is very high. The ambulance staff are on the go all the time. People just tend to use us as first resort instead of second or third resort. Good morning, Richard. Good morning. How are you today? Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. I'm going to get my apron on and then we'll sort out that injection. It's very satisfying to see improvements before your eyes and also in a very short space of time. To know that you have contributed to that, that your opinion is valued. The patient is at the centre of everything that we do and between health and social we've come such a long way. I've been in the NHS for 25 years now. To me, this is revolutionary. I think it's a really outstanding but very simple solution to some very significant issues. Richard, that's perfect. The mm. blood pressure of an athlete. <laughs> oh, that's lovely, isn't it? I think it would be a sin for us to go back to the way that we worked before. So this morning I'm off to Manchester to spend time with the NHS and with local government. Devo Mank is an area where people are thinking quite radically about the way to join up services and to promote healthy communities. And the first person I'm going to be seeing is Howard Bernstein, the Chief Executive of Manchester City Council. We've got to ask ourselves, do we need to do things 10 or 15 times? Uh, can we do them uh, once? We have to join up. We, we, we have to start to break down those institutional barriers between local government assets and NHS assets and other public service assets and start to address them as community assets. For the most serious emergencies, we have access to five air ambulances. This allows us to fly a highly trained doctor to the scene of the incident very quickly. If required, the helicopter can then speed the critically injured patient to a specialist hospital at over 160 miles an hour. At night, it's the Medical Emergency Response Incident Team, MERIT for short, that responds to the most serious traumas. With a senior doctor on board, it speeds life-saving medical treatments, usually only found in hospitals, to the scene of the most serious accidents. It's a pioneering service and acknowledged as the best in the country. <laughs> 